Hey, my peoples. Uh, I don't know why I'm a little hyper. Because I've been actually working all day on only three hours of sleep. Last night, I went to bed exactly about 12.30. Laid there, laid there. Tried to sleep. I turned sideways, turned other sideways, laid on my back, stomach. Nothing. So, I finally... Went to bed about 4 o'clock, and I had to get up at 7. So, yeah. And I'm so tired right now. I see two computers. This one and the one that's, like, right here. But my hand can go through it. So, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty much tired, if you could tell. But, I want to show you. I got my new magazine today. I'm, I'll subscribe to it. Surfing magazine. Like I said, I'm a, I love surfers. I love surfing. Got my surfing magazine today. It's a pretty good magazine. Look at this wave. It is like off the heezy pacheezy. That is so sweet. I know. I'm jealous because I'm fat and I can't do it. But, <clears throat> yes, Sandy, I got my copy today in the mail when I was gone. See, I got my new moon and I got the ultimate fan edition. See? There's Jacob and Bella. And then, whoa, Jacob's gone. There's Edward and Bella. It's the ultimate fan edition. This was twenty-five bucks. See, right there, special features. You get a seven-minute sneak peek of the Twilight Saga clips. It was awesome. It only comes at the, on this edition. So you take it out, and there is the some bitch. There is the special features disc. And, of course, I have New Moon in my DVD player right now. It's actually on right now. Of course, you know I watch this 5,000 times a day, please. But I have my other copy of New Moon. It should be here to me either Wednesday or Thursday. But this is my copy of New Moon. And now i got both of them. See, i got Twilight, the two-disc edition. And now i got New Moon. So you put them together, what do you get? Twilight and New Moon. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm hyper, but, yeah. Uh, uh, and I'm going to finish this up today. I'm almost done with the Eclipse book. I got that many pages left. And I'm done. And then I'm starting on the last book. But I'm going to go to bed. Wish me luck. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. Can't touch this. Do the sprinkler. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. If you heard that pop, that's my elbow popping. I pop it just by throwing it like this. Huh. I can't do that one. But, yeah. I'm going to go to bed and try to sleep. I think I'm getting a chest cold or something. But, yeah. Um... I'm getting another tattoo, not now, probably this summer, but I'm thinking, what do you think I should get? You know how I'm about breast cancer. I'm thinking about getting a breast cancer sign, like the ribbon, breast cancer ribbon, on my ankle and put my friend's name in there that actually survived breast cancer three years ago. Or do, or do you think I should just get the breast cancer sign and fill it in in bright pink? Yeah. What do you think I should do? Because I love I love breast cancer. I love buying and purchasing it and helping out. I can probably say I spent over a thousand something dollars last year on breast cancer items. Yeah, I even bought breast cancer wrapping paper for Christmas. So, you know me. I love bringing me some breast cancer. But tell me what you think, and and tell me if you got your copy of New Moon, or whatever, or whatever, ever, ever, so ever, ever, forever, ever, ever. But I'm gonna get off here and uh, hit the sack. Hit this. I'm a country hick. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get off here and hit the sack. Yeah. But last night when I couldn't go to bed, I watched all your videos. E each one of you subscribed to me. I watched most of your videos. Y'all kept me awake. Thank you for that. Because if you didn't, I'd be like. Oh. 
I'm just saying. But I'm going to get off here and go to bed. Root. Root. I'm talking on here. You're being root. That's my brother. He wants on the internet. He has a little tiny laptop, but he, he's blind as a bat, so. Well, let me let him on before you know. He bitches a coochie, whatever. But I got you a joke. I, my tattoo artist told me this today when I went and tried to look at um, breast cancer signs. I laughed until I cried. He told me, he said, his wife called him. My tattoo artist's name is Mark. He's the only one I let do my tattoos at Living Arch Tattoo in North Carolina. But his wife called him and asked him, could he borrow, could she borrow a hundred dollars from him today? He says, sweetie, he says, you got money. You got a more high paired job than I do. Spend your own money. I was like, oh, snap. And he told me after she hung up, she said, I might get a hundred dollar tattoo, a hundred dollar bill tattooed on his penis. I said, why would you do that? He said, because my wife likes to blow money. <laughs> that was hilarious. That's, I'm sorry, that to me, that is hilarious. But you must, it's probably a joke that you had to be there to witness it. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Peace.